Alright, so today I've got an unboxing and build of a plane that I've actually owned before. Trick is, when I did the maiden flight, I never actually got to land her. Uh, and there was sort of this whole mid-air collision thing that happened. Anyways, let's take a look inside the box and see if we can get this new version up in the air. All right, so here we have it. The P-47 Razorback by E-Flight. Uh, of course, it's gonna be E-Flight if we're gonna be running uh, safe and whatnot. Now, the reason that that matters to me, or mattered to me, is uh, this is the third airplane I ever bought. First was the, uh, the Apprentice, the second was the UMX Timber, and this was the third because I really wanted to continue to push my skills and experience as a pilot. Uh, turns out, you know, Warplanes with that low wing fly really differently than our trainers with a high wing and uh, I wanted to have the safe Just so I had a little bit of an envelope there to, to learn in with a little bit of safety and security so I, I went with the uh, P-47 which you know, let's get into the box. and I'll tell my story as we go so beautiful plane it's actually why I have a second plane um, however, you know, it's funny pilots are really superstitious. And uh, I think there's something to that. Uh -huh. So this is definitely an E-Flight plane because man, that is snug. And that is common <laughs> in our unboxing of these E-Flight planes. My goodness, this one's really in there. So, uh, one more good pull, there we go. Okay. So, grab my razor here. So I wanted to buy this plane again because, honestly, a little bit of that superstition. Um, so I bought this plane originally, uh, of course brand new, um, and took it out to the airfield. And on her maiden flight, um, we ended up having a, a mid-air collision, Tate and I. Off the runway. Oh! 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 oh. 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 You're not supposed to dogfight, guys. We were trying to! I really missed you, Tom. You go on the events oh, of a midair. On a maiden flight, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> well, I honestly. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Holy shit! Uh -huh. <laughs> get in there. Uh, hold on. Wyatt. Yeah. Take, wow. take my right. hat. You got to get the both of us. Jay, get in here. Oh, pilot survived. Pilot survived. Get down. Oh, I'm here. Uh, is it still down. just recording? Yeah. Twig up. Yes. That's all right. Yeah. Come on down. It's I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Thumbs up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we don't know what happened, mechanical failure, whether it was pilot error, but uh, the long story short is I took his B-17 to the ground with this. In fact, uh, we kind of came in like this and uh, the propeller buried itself in the wing of his B-17 and uh, those babies just went to the ground. We'll play some footage here, hopefully. But, uh, you know, I felt terrible. Ruined a plane that I just bought, which this isn't a cheap plane, $270. Um, it's actually up there in price. Uh, but it's a gorgeous plane, definitely worth having. Um, so I ended up rebuilding this plane several times. Uh, oh, gotta love the E Flight manuals. These things are so clear, concise, really well done. I love these manuals. Um, anyways, being the superstitious type, I rebuilt this plane a dozen times and, well, not a dozen, actually technically five. Uh, first time I just did the repairs on the fuselage because luckily I just broke it in half. Uh, took it out to fly it, uh, got it in the air, crashed it. Uh, ended up having to buy a fuselage and wing. Flew it again um, and crashed and severely damaged the, the fuselage. Well, I decided, no, I'm gonna take a, 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 you know, page from the book of Tate here. 
patched it back together best I could. And at this point, the B-17s, it's up and flying again. Tate's a master rebuilder. Um, took it out, crashed it yet again, bought new foam and realized, you know what? This plane, no matter how many times I take and completely replace all the fuselage and all the foam, is never gonna fly right. So I gave Tate that poor old plane and all the parts and pieces, and this is my <laughs> new untainted plane. Hopefully it'll fly as well as, as it was until the minute of air collision happened. Anyway, so let's get into this box more. So here we have this beautiful main wing. Oh, it is really just a gorgeous wing. Very, very, very nice. Um, you know, we have the fake uh, guns that mount up on the front here. The landing gears are beautiful, uh, the way they kind of inset into the, uh, into the wing. Um, and of course we have our, our mounts for some accessories for, well, you know, things like rocket pods. So we've got rocket pods, we've got a drop tank that'll mount here, and somewhere floating around in here we've got some bombs as well. It was our, uh, our 10 inch if I recall. Uh, yep, 10 inch. Uh, so it's a 10.5 by 8 prop. Beautiful, beautiful propeller. I've been through a few of those. Um, <laughs> oh boy, we've got some good static building up here too. All right, next up we've got, uh, oh boy, look at these. All right, so there's our horizontal stabilizers, our elevators. Uh, we have a carbon fiber rod floating around in here uh, that uh, connects these. Um, makes that nice, strong, very rigid. Really, truly, it's a, a beautiful plane all the way around. Let's, uh, let's uh, grab the fuselage out here. There we go. Check that out. Now, my only complaint with this plane is the strange poop tornado. Could have been graphically just a little bit better. Um, you know, uh, pilot looks okay. Uh, the uh, foam, boy, just looks beautiful. Uh, we don't have any severe crocodiling on it. The graphics are really quite nice. Um, it's just a beautiful plane. Nice enough that, you know, I was willing to take and, and get another version, uh, especially considering how much money I had spent on replacement foam that really never got her back up in the air. All right, so it looks like we've got all of our other bits right here. Uh, there we go. So our bombs that attach, lost those on the first crash, never found them again. Um, and our hardware packet. This has got some servo leads, our, our guns, looks like a bind plug, uh, and uh, our spinner. Yep, sure enough. So, so there we go, that's kind of the unbox here. Um, now I've built this plane, oh, here's our carbon fiber spar. Good thing I almost uh, uh, tossed this aside without that, good thing I noticed it. I've built this plane up so many times, uh, this time lapse is gonna be just a blip, but uh, we'll at least do the time lapse, put the plane together, and uh, then we can kind of uh, take a closer look at uh, what it looks like.
right, so here we have it. Our uh, P47 Razorback is built. Uh, true to form with uh, most of the E-Flight planes, assembly was super, super easy. Couple screws to hold our, our horizontal stabilizer on, uh, one servo clevis to connect. Um, all of our others were connected. They're already trued up. It really, honestly, it's one of the beautiful things about the E-Flight planes is they're really well built. They're really well assembled right out of the box. You don't have a lot of tinkering and adjusting and tuning. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what this little uh, little uh, prop and uh, motor does. This is a Power 15, again, 10 inch prop, four blade. Um, get a good grip on this and uh, let's see how it does. <laughs> so again, having had one of these before in several incarnations, that's more than enough power to not only get this thing up into the air, but to have a lot of fun kind of hot dogging and doing a few interesting little stunts. So again, we have a Power 15 motor in this. Uh, it's designed to run off of a three cell 2200 uh, milliamp battery and it has a 40 amp ESC in it. And that gives us more than enough power to have some fun on the field. It would have been interesting to see this thing running on a, uh, a four cell battery. Um, you know, that might be pushing some of the uh, electronics a little bit, but maybe we'll even have some fun and do some experiments with that. Um, the details on this plane again are fantastic. Um, so we have a receiver that has safe built into it as well as AS3X. Now you can turn off the safe and just have the gyro stabilization to take some of the jitters out of the plane and you can even disable that. So this plane actually has a lot of capability and growth for you as a pilot, uh, being able to take and, and work through those systems and, and build your confidence in this air, airframe. Um, again, it's also a brilliant first plane as an actual warfighter, low wing plane. Um, beautiful plane, really well built. Uh, we don't have any, uh, any shocks in our landing gears. However, we have a, actually a nice tread pattern on there. They're not just bald and smooth like a lot of the other uh, uh, wheels that we see. Uh, small details that are removable, for instance, like these uh, rocket pods, make it so that you can kind of customize this plane to your liking. Uh, and I really appreciate that. Um, everything on the inside of our cowl, which is just gigantic, uh, is super clean, really easy to get to, well organized, um, and it's super easy to get your battery in and out of this plane, which is actually one of the things that drew me to this plane was just how easy it is to, to enjoy and work with that on the flight line. Four screws hold our main wing on, and those four screws are um, Allen-based uh, bits uh, um, on them. So it's a very easy assembly once we get out into the runway. And then we just have three simple connections for our receiver. So our, our flaps, our ailerons, and our um, landing gears. So let's take a look at those control surfaces because, boy, they are just beautiful. They work so nicely. Our flaps are gorgeous. There we go, let's cycle through those. Uh, we've got our rudder connected to our tail dragger wheel and uh, there's our elevators. Beautiful. Uh, you know, everything on this plane is just great out of the box. The alignment of our, our rear wheel looks great. Uh, and again, all of our control surfaces. So this should be a great plane to get out. Uh, and, and hopefully this time around, this plane will treat me right. And uh, I look forward to getting a, a good maiden, not only flight, but landing as well with this plane. So that's what we're gonna be doing next with this. Uh, until then, thanks for tuning in and keep flying. So, so as you can see, there's a fair degree of commitment that we at Angry Zeppelin have for you, our viewers. It's so true. All of this comes out of our own pockets, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what else you'd like to see here on Angry Zeppelin. Until next time, keep, keep flying! flying.